it is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the Christmas edition of uh, Nuggets for the Soul. I was reflecting on the scene of the birth of Christ uh, in Bethlehem and we see that in the nativity scene, right? Uh, we see Joseph, Mary, the baby Jesus and also the animals. I was reflecting, uh, if I'm there, where am I? And I thought I would be either Saint Joseph or uh, one of the animals or maybe the, the, the shepherds. Uh, but when I was like reflecting in that scene, I saw myself as the manger with a lot of straw where Jesus was laid on. And I was thinking how unworthy I am to be that manger, uh, thinking that Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the Savior of the world. He must be born and placed in a comfy bed in a very special room in a big palace. And yet he was born in a manger, how unworthy I am uh, with my sinfulness and my weaknesses and imperfections. And the Lord just inspired me to look at the call of Matthew. Uh, after the call of Matthew, uh, Jesus was having this fellowship with tax collectors and other sinners. And the Pharisees were questioning him, why is he associating with great sinners? And this is what uh, Jesus said. Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. For I come, came not to call the righteous, but uh, sinners. Also in the first letter of Paul to Timothy, chapter 1, verse 15, this Christ Jesus came into the world to save uh, sinners, and I am the foremost of sinners. But I receive mercy for this reason, that in me as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience for an example to those who are to believe in him for eternal life. And I think uh, for those who, who are like me, who are thinking that we're unworthy to receive Jesus because of our sinfulness, know of his great mercy and love for each and every one of us so that as we experience that love and mercy, we may be also able to share Jesus to other sinners like us, okay? Because for many people, they think that God is very judgmental and critical and uh, we need to present to them the real Jesus, the God who is full of love and mercy and who wants to have uh, fellowship with them as well. Okay, so I hope we were able to share this good news uh, to people around us. God bless. The living saint, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.